Right, it's Thursday. I'm here with Wanderers manager Mark White for our weekly catch up. How you doing, Mark? Yeah, fine, thanks. On the mend? Yeah, big time, yeah. Good stuff, good. You sound better. Yeah. So, um, right, okay, we're going to obviously talk about the, uh, the this Saturday's FA Trophy game shortly, but first of all, let's just recap on last Saturday when um, we welcomed Oldham Athletic to Meadowbank, and obviously we subject to a home defeat. Can I just get your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I mean, everything was great about the day, except the weather. Um, and the result, really. The fans, both sets of fans were brilliant. Uh, the, the two clubs get on well. I think that that's really comes from that sort of famous day when um, where the fair deal Frank took over Oldham and we were the visitors on BT. Um, so I think that comes from there. The fans get on great and um, it's nice. There's enough shit clubs about to, um, you know, to, 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 to appreciate if you like that when you've got a good relationship. So, yeah, um, yeah good day. Uh, terrible result. Um, 69% possession in the game. So 70% possession can see five goals. Boreham wouldn't wreck some esque really. Um, similar situation against them. Uh, individual errors, um, no excuses. Uh, the players have got no excuses. They didn't offer any excuses. I think the, the messaging was, look, there's no point, you know, there's no point saying, yeah, I could do better. You know, the moment's gone. That, that's how football works. It's um, forget putting your hand up, do something about it, you know. Um, Individual errors, you know, we, we, like a little bit, you know, we look at it and we lost Isaac at training on the Thursday and young, young Archie came in and um, he, he wasn't great for the first couple of goals and, you know, he's finding his feet. Um, but, but listen, it's, it's, you know, collectively, collectively um, defenders have to defend, organise each other, etc. Um, you know, we've got, um, yeah, but we've got, you know, from my point of view, there is no there is no defending it. You know, it's too consistent, too many goals across Eastleigh and um, Oldham. Similar, I've got this kind of Wrexham form and win analogy, um, whereby we just conceded terrible goals across them two games. And, you know, there, there'll be some players that are going to struggle to get in the team now that have made one too many mistake, uh, too many mistakes and... Um, we, we're, we're going to go very much with tried and tested. Um, we're going to be announcing at midday um, that we've signed um, Joe Cook um, permanently, which um, you know is, is fantastic, uh, big signing. Um, but yeah, so one to forget, mate, really, and we do need to forget it. And I know, I know, I'm asking all of us to be resilient, but all the time you're finishing games in a way. You know, with, with with such high possession, and and listen, all the dickheads go, oh yeah, but possession into goals. Listen, the possession is coming with crosses too. I think it was like, you know, the, the stats, uh, the shots on target were more, the shots off target were more, the crosses were three times the amount. That's consistent. It's not about that. It's about defending better, um, and that's where we are, mate. And that's how it is. In football, you move on quickly, mate. I remember we went to Barnet off the back of um, the Wrexham game and got a 1-0 win, clean sheet when Barnet were in the top, top four. Um, that's the standard we set. We believe we can beat anybody. Um, we know we can. Um, and we go again. That's the resilience we'll show. Do you know what I mean? But definitely two games to forget, Chris. We went into New Year's Day um, very much mid-table form. Uh, 10th, 11th or something, you know. Not bad form, more resilient, um, and just being honest with everybody, it's, it's there, there's been two, three individuals that have been at fault for all the goals, and that's where we are, mate. And um, we just need to work that out as a management team and move forward and look forward to good times. But it's very much behind us, Chris. I tell you that now. We are very much moving on, very much. Good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we have to do, and look yep. forward to this Saturday. And now, obviously, you had a session with the boys on Tuesday night. You're with them again tonight. <coughs> How is the squad looking? Any news on the injury front? Or? Yeah, Josh Taylor's taking longer to return than, than we'd like, so we're going to get a scan on Josh on Monday. Um, that's that's a worry for us, if, if, we're, if we're honest, mate. Um, I, I think I said at the start of the season, we, we need to keep our... There are certain players in, in every team you play that you really cannot take out the team, and... You know, um, Josh is one of them. Um, we've got, apart from that, we've got um, Luke Moore, who probably won't make the weekend. Um, 
so yeah, pretty much everybody else is is, is fit again, um, which is okay. It's good to see. I think there's a real in in the background. There's kind of like Baz and Seb are, are building up match fitness, you know, because it's all good and well when you see these boys on the team sheet, but they're not the they're not the finished article when they first come on the team sheet. So it's good to see them boys been able to train and play without any recurrences. Um, that that will have an impact in that in that soon. But yeah, so um, yeah, pretty much everybody available really, um, and. Um, we, we just can't wait to get back out there, mate. We're not a team that sulked. We're not a... No one... You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. And we, we actually think we're... Um, um, notwithstanding the clear and obvious challenge at the back, um, we actually think we're in a great position, really. You know, several points on the board. Um, 19 games to play. We're looking upwards, not, not below us. And um, we have got, you know, a few boys returning that we're looking forward to. So, yeah, and we're looking forward to, to this cup competition. You know, like, we're massively looking forward to the FA Trophy Saturday. Absolutely, yeah. And it's uh, obviously back at Meadowbank Stadium. So we're at home, fourth round, and we welcome Kidderminster Harriers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously a new club. They had an amazing FA Cup run last year. So um, I'm not so sure the FA, Tro FA Trophy at Dawkins is going to mean as anywhere near as much as, as West Ham did to them last year. Um, what a phenomenal story that was. Um, but obviously, yeah, I mean, for those that don't know, they're, they're, you know, they're a, a club with a lot of legacy, um, ex-league club, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure, I think they might be full-time still, I think, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they're, um, like, I think in this National League, um, across the three divisions in cup competitions you know it's there's they, nothing in it you know like I mean as we proved when we was in the south we'd be beating teams in the league above they'll be looking at it thinking that um, there's goals in it for them etc um, and they'd be right to do you know what I mean but equally I know what we're like and yeah. you know we, we, we'll probably go out there and you know bash somebody up 6-0 soon you know what I mean it, we, who knows but we're, we're not a, we're not consistent um, we've got a lot of development to do we're really committed to doing it and but uh, hopefully all the fans um, you know get down there Saturday um, if the, the home crowd have been really consistent whether it's you know the cup or, or the league and the home fans make a massive difference um, and it's good to see them resilient as well so yeah we look forward to Saturday mate and um, packing it out with um, with home fans and you know, that, that'll put us maybe, what, in the last 16? I don't know. Um, but three, four games from Wembley um, in, a, in a competition where we're the highest ranked division in it. So it's a, it's, a, it's a big one for us, this competition, mate. We're a small club and I think we win Saturday. It's the furthest we've gone in this one. So we're, we're going to be all out to win this game. Great. And uh, I was actually going to mention the fans. I know we do, we do talk about them a lot and rightly so because they've been absolutely superb. And I've got to say... You know, I think you did. You did comment on this after the game on Saturday. I mean, even when we were losing the game, you know, convincingly, they didn't stop singing. Right I think, until I, the yeah. Minute, so. I think it's phenomenal, mate. You know, like you know, you've got um, you when you watch other clubs and that, and their fans, like they're sort of like, um, they're so sort of deeply cut by things, you know, legacy things. You know, they don't like the chairman from what he's something he done five years ago, or you know, they've just been bought out, or they need to be bought out, or they've got a tax bill, or. And you got these fans where just like um, these wounds almost run deep. Do you know what I mean? Like they, they win two games, they lose one, they boom off, you know. But our fans, our fans uh, fortunately understand the trajectory that we're, that we're on. And, you know, we are raising money like desperately to, um, to build the away end behind the goal. It's got to be finished by 31st of March. We, we did get promoted in June. Um, we didn't, you know, have the ability to go and um, sign new players. We wanted to give opportunities to those boys that are in the club. We wanted to, you know, we said goodbye to, to key people. You know, you name it, this year is a massive transition. And, you know, for us, and I know the fans get this, I think this is why the fans are relentless, is that the success of us uh, standing in this league is, is big. It's, it's going to be big because, like, if we was in a position where even we had a ready-made ground and we could just focus all of our efforts on the field, that'd be one thing, but all of our efforts are 
you know, all over the place. Um, so I know the fans get that, and um, our aim is to, you know, is to reward that, and I'm sure we will, and then do what we always do, which is walk all over people, you know, and, and show them what we're all about. Absolutely. And I just want to mention um, prices for Saturday, FA yeah. Trophy. It's re they've, they've reduced ticket prices on standard National League games. Um, so adults, if you go, if you go online, DorkingWadras.com, click on the big prominent ticket link at the top. Adults are only £12 if you buy in advance online. Concessions are 9, under 18 6, under 8 3. And family of four is only £25. So um, what I would suggest, if anyone's watching this who hasn't bought a ticket yet, jump online, get them in advance, and you'll get yourself a bargain. And if you're a family of four, you can watch a, watch the match uh, for tw only £25, which obviously is great value. So um, yeah. hopefully we can really pack the place out and get another decent, strong home crowd down there and a great atmosphere. Yeah, that's it, mate. I mean, the crowds make a massive difference and they're resilient. And look, there's going to be great times down there. Uh, this season there's going to be really good times away from home there's going to be loads of first still do you know what i mean nothing changes business as usual we're working hard and um you know expect the unexpected with us that's what to do yeah a lot of football still to play loads of football yeah yeah all right mark well look thanks for your time cheers mate and uh, we'll catch up again next week cheers mate cheers. thanks